on these single stage snow blowers, this piece in the center here is what really throws the snow out the top. The sides here, they pull the snow blower along, they, they rub the ground, they help pull it along, and they work the snow into the center, in, into this part here. So this here is a wear area. The, these wear down, and this has wear on it, but it still, it still contacts the ground underneath. And uh, it, it can be wore down pretty good. It's still going to pull snow in. If you have three or four inches, it's going to pull it in. But what really makes these not work very well, when this centerpiece gets worn down, that it doesn't contact back here. Well, it, it needs to be real close to this. It doesn't actually need to contact it, but it needs to be really close. So as, as these wear down, it keeps going too far. As these wear down, it gets further away back here. The further away it gets, the more the snow just falls back behind it. So what we can do is th this is actually two sided and this side is a little bit shorter than over here. So we're going to take this off and we're going to rotate it so that this edge here that really is new and has no wear on it is up here at the top uh, at the outside. You know, and, and I don't know if it picks it up on camera, but this is a little bit shorter from here to here than it is from here to here. So we're going to flip them around and it's going to be a little bit closer and it's going to work a little bit better. And that's how you get a little bit more life out of it before you have to replace the parts or, you know, you're out blowing snow and it's just not throwing it like you think it should. You know, if you look at that and, you know, this side's a little shorter than the inside, you could take on this model here, on this style, which a lot of MTDs had this, you know, I know it's simplicity, and this is all metric here too. Uh, you know, the ones that have this separate piece, the, you can buy these. You can buy this and you can buy these, but this, these are bolted on here. These guys here, they're all riveted on. So you got to drill them and put new screws in, but we're going to flip these around and it's going to be a little bit better. And there is actually washers in here and they they're so embedded they just stayed in there <clears throat> now to get them back in I had to pull them out and they don't want to go back in right just because of the, the overlap with the other rubber it's not that they don't fit it's just a, a tight fit bit of help here from a screwdriver of course it keeps spinning because when you're going backwards it takes all the tension off the belt so you would still have this situation here even if they were new just because of the interference fit.
and just like that it, it is actually a little bit closer get this camera in here and maybe we can see there we go it's going to be really really hard to tell here but here I can get my finger into there that far and on this one, my finger stops right there. That's all the farther my finger's going in. So back on this one, I can get pretty good amount behind there. And then on this one, I could definitely feel it's closer. So it's gonna give us a little bit, but a little bit is gonna make all the difference when you're out there blowing snow. You know, I've done this before. I'm sure I'm not the only one that knows this little trick. But, uh, you know, it definitely, it definitely works good. It makes a big difference when you're out there trying to blow snow.